Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome to the official start of Vlogmas. Today is day one and I am super excited for today's video. I'm gonna be doing a closet clean out and I know it's a little bit later in the day, it's getting a little bit dark, but I have transitioned to working night shifts and like I've mentioned before, I need projects to keep myself awake. So today's project is going to be a closet clean out. I'm not necessarily getting rid of everything, some things I'm just putting away that's not for the season, but I really want to incorporate more winter clothes into my closet. So I'm going thrifting with my sisters and I I do plan on getting a significant amount of like knits, coats, sweaters, things like that. So I do need to make room for that. And since I am going to be filling up my closet with new things, I wanna to try to get rid of some things first. And honestly, I haven't really been in love with my wardrobe lately. I feel like it's kind of just burnt out a little bit for me. And some of the things are just either really repetitive, I've probably worn them to the ground, or it's just not really my style anymore, not really the vibe that I'm kind of going for. And so I just wanna do a really good clean out. I am going to be trying on a lot of this stuff and then some of the stuff that I already know for a fact does not fit me, I'll probably just toss. So I'm going to have a donate pile, a family pile, a storage pile, and then I'm contemplating on whether I'd like to sell anything or not. If you guys are interested in me making like some kind of Poshmark or something like that, by all means, let me know. I'm gonna just start by saying that I don't have all these crazy brands in my closet. I do my best to shop on a budget, and that usually consists of like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Target, Old Navy, things like that. So I don't have all these like crazy brand names but I do have some things that I actually think would be good. I just didn't get enough wear out of it and it just wasn't my style for very long and some of the things I didn't even wear at all. So if you guys are interested in me doing something like that, put it down in the comments and I would be more than happy to do that. We're just gonna go ahead and get straight into it. I know that the lighting isn't the best in here but we're just gonna work with what we have. So I'm gonna start with tank tops because that's something that I have way too much of and it all looks exactly the same so let's just start going through it. I know for sure there's two things in here that I just don't want. They were really nice, but I have these two. I have the one in white and the one in black, and these are both Old Navy. I probably wore the white one maybe once, and I don't think I've ever worn the black one. And the reason why I don't like these, they're really nice, and the fabric is really soft and all, but personally, I hate wearing strapless bras, and the ones that I have worn just don't look right and I, I don't know I just I don't like it so I would much rather be comfortable in something and I'm not comfortable in a strapless bra so these two I'm definitely putting to the side and these are going in my pile of things to get rid of I kind of have everything color coordinated so I feel like that's going to help me a lot but I have this one I do actually enjoy wearing this one I don't gravitate to it as often because I wear the gray one a little bit more but I do really like it as something a little bit more comfortable with some jeans I haven't really worn this one much just because I haven't really worn anything that requires an undershirt but I think what I'm gonna do is that everything that I would think to wear as like an undershirt I'll probably just like fold it up and put it in a drawer instead of having it take up space in my closet it kind of just makes it a little bit easier I have a little bit of a longer version version of it here. I'm gonna try these on and then I'll make my decision from there. I actually really like this tank top and my sister gave it to me for Christmas last year or the year before. I don't really know. I really haven't been able to wear it because it just hasn't fit me. I don't think that I want to keep things that don't fit me anymore just because I keep telling myself I'm gonna fit into it and some of the things I have actually fit into it. Like I have jeans that didn't fit me a few months ago that do now and so that's cool and all but I think for the things that don't fit me just yet but I really want to keep. I think I'm going to put them in a storage bag like something that makes sense to keep do you know what I mean not just like everything that I tell myself I'm gonna fit into it one day something that makes sense to keep something that's going to be a staple that I know is going to kind of be really versatile in my wardrobe but for this personally I don't think I'm gonna end up keeping it I'll try it on to see how it fits right now but it might be a no and then I did think that I would end up liking this bodysuit from Old Navy and I just don't I feel like it just doesn't look the way that I would like it to on me so this is just gonna be a toss I have another pile of tank tops the, the tank tops are gonna be a while okay so we're just gonna leave it at that this I have not worn as an actual shirt but it is comfortable I think I might just put it in like a pajama pile because I'm not wearing this anytime soon oh it is way too cropped for what I expected it to be and yeah this is gonna be a pajama or maybe even a workout shirt I do really like this one I have gotten some good use out of this the fabric is a lot more fitted so I feel like this kind of just is really flattering when you put it on with some nice high-waisted jeans so we're gonna keep this in here I have this tank top and I have it in gray as well and I feel like I gravitate towards the gray one a lot more because I just don't feel like this is really my color. So I'm gonna try it on and see how I feel about it, but most likely I'm just gonna put it in a giveaway pile. And then this one, I absolutely love this tank top. It's just like a ribbed kind of fabric and I actually got this at TJ Maxx earlier in the summer. This thing is so compressed and so flattering. I don't wanna get rid of this. I have actually already worn this and I got a ton of compliments on it, so I'm gonna keep it in rotation. Next we have some chocolatey brown ones and this is comfortable. It's like a little cami. 
but it's not realistic for me to wear on its own. So this might actually also be a pajama top because it is really comfortable and I have worn it to sleep, but I don't think I would wear this actually out. This is just like that white one. I will keep this in rotation. It is comfortable. And I feel like because I have so many of the same thing, like I have four or five chocolate tank tops. If I keep seeing the exact same thing, I'm probably going to wear the one that I'm most comfortable with. So that's why I'm also trying to weed out things so that I can actually see the things that are in my closet. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of rotation after I've cleaned everything out and put things that I normally can't see into full view. So now that's what's next and that I can actually grab that when I'm looking through my closet instead of never bothering to go to like the corners that I can't really see. So this one, I am going to keep it. And I think it's especially nice for now, like the season that we're in wearing darker colors. It's not cold yet, but I can still wear this with a sweater or something. I have two of the same one. And the reason why I have two of them is because I got it in a medium and a large. I don't ever wear the medium. Not that it doesn't fit me. It actually fits me really nicely, but it's a little bit too cropped. So the large is still slightly cropped, but not as much. And so I think I would rather just keep the large and then I'm going to give the medium one to my mom. Next is another bodysuit. And I don't know how I feel about this. I don't think I've actually worn this one. I think maybe I wore it once. I don't know if these just weren't as compressed as I would have liked them to be. So it wasn't like slimming me down the way that a bodysuit should. And I think that's why I wasn't a fan of the Old Navy ones. I think I'm not even gonna bother trying them on. I'm just gonna put them in the pile to get rid of. Like I literally have not worn them. It just doesn't make sense. I have it in black. Actually, I think the black one was a little bit more compressed. I'm gonna try this one on one more time, but just by feeling the white and the brown one immediately, I knew it wasn't like a tight fit. So I am going to try the black one on, but I don't really have much hope for it. So we're just gonna put it in a try on style. So just like that white tank, I have it in black as well. And these just work as really good undershirts. I like to wear a lot of button ups and I don't always like the buttons to go super high, but obviously I need coverage. So I need a tank top and I'm gonna keep this one in black and white. Much like the tank top that I'm currently wearing, I'm currently wearing it enlarge and I have it in a medium and again I never gravitate for the medium because it's just too cropped so that's another one for my mom. This is the gray racerback tank that I was talking about. It's just like the brown one and the white one that I have. I use this a lot. It actually really slims me down so I will keep wearing this. This is the gray one that I was talking about that is a little bit more slimming and I do prefer this over the pink one. I might end up keeping the gray and I might end up getting rid of the pink one. This is more of a just really soft oversized kind of tank and I feel like this is more of a pajama. I don't know why I have it in my closet but it's taking up space so we're gonna put it in the pajama pile. I have these two here and I like wearing this with shorts in the summer and I actually really do enjoy wearing this little green one. It is a size large so I know that it fits me. I'm gonna put it back up here and then since I'm not going to be wearing this color anytime soon or without a sweater this might be a my storage pile. I have a pile that I'm going to be trying on because this one, I got it in a thrift haul that you guys saw recently and I wasn't too much of a fan of it. So I might end up giving this away, but I'm gonna try it on one more time. And then this one, my sister ended up giving to me. I don't know where it came from. I don't think she knows where it came from, but we're gonna try it on to see if I like it. So this is one of those tank tops that I thrifted not too long ago. You guys would have seen it in my haul. At first, I wasn't too sure about it because I also tried it on when I wasn't ready at all. And so now I'm kind of thinking like, it's still really big and I feel like I need like a better bra to wear with it because that kind of makes a difference. I'm still not crazy about the cut totally because I feel like it just makes my arms look really big and that ends up making me look a little bit wider but I might end up keeping this and just giving it a shot and if after I try wearing it out if I don't feel that great in it then I'll just toss it. This is another top that I thrifted and it's all navy and it's just like a button vest top. I don't really know how to describe it. And at first I wasn't too sure about it but I think after trying it on I did end up liking it. Sorry if the lighting's kind of changing. It's honestly dark at this point so I'm just working with what I have but I do feel like I can actually work with this and I don't know I like it I think it'll be cute I feel like now that we're going into a different season though it's gonna be tricky kind of finding what to wear it with but where I'm at there's still days where it's 80 degrees so I might be able to pull it off okay so this is the tank top that my sister put in my closet like over a month ago I don't even know where it came from and I don't know why it took me so long to try this on but I actually really like it I feel like it's surprisingly pretty flattering around the waist and it's a different kind of cut at the top it's a little bit wider out which I'm totally okay with I do feel like I need a different type of bra because I'm currently just wearing a bralette and that really does nothing for you so I'm gonna change that later but this is definitely something I'm gonna be wearing and I feel like I can actually wear this pretty soon so I'm gonna leave it in my closet. At first I thought I wasn't going to like it and I wanted to not like it and then I put it on and I think I like it. This is a tank top that Chastity gifted me. It was 
some Christmas or a birthday. I don't really remember when. And I'm actually not mad about this tank top. I feel like with the high enough waist of a jean, I can kind of get away with it. It is a little bit see-through, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But the reason I really like it is just because I feel like it's such a girly tank top. Like, look at that detail. I don't know, I really like it. And like I said, it does actually fit me better than when she had initially gifted it to me. So I'm gonna keep it. One more thing though, um, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try this one on. I feel like this one's just gonna be a no. It's cute, it's yellow, it's pretty. It's like a happy color, happy little top, but it's just not, I'm not even gonna try it on. I'm just gonna give this away or something. I just, this is gonna go in the toss pile. So next we have fitted t-shirts and I think I'm just gonna try on the ones that I'm a little bit iffy about. The ones that I already know how they fit me, then I'll kind of just show you guys and we'll just put them back in my closet. This top was actually one of my favorites when I was at my smallest weight because it was very flattering. It's not flattering anymore. I'm getting rid of this one. This is an old Target t-shirt that I've had for years and I feel like it's still holding up pretty well. So I'm gonna keep this one. I have this gray one from Old Navy and I don't really know how I feel about the swoop neck on this one. I feel like the shirt could look better on me. I don't know, it's just not really favoring me the way that I would like it to. So I'm gonna toss this one. I also have it in black. I don't even think I've worn this, you guys. No. It doesn't make the difference that I would like it to. I'm gonna toss both of them. Keep, keep, and keep. Keeping this one from Old Navy and I'm not even gonna try it on, but I have the same version in white. I like them both, so I'm gonna keep both. And you guys, it's like this shirt is haunting me because I found it in white. We're getting rid of all these swoop ones. Initially, I did like this shirt and I got it for my birthday for my sister, but now I'm kind of trying it back on and I feel like it just makes me look really wide. So I think I'm gonna end up donating this one. I honestly forgot that I had this in my closet and it's just a really comfortable, oversized, just like loose baggy shirt. I think I'm gonna keep this one. We're keeping this one. I think I'm gonna keep this one. And I think I'm gonna layer it with like a white shirt underneath that you can kind of see or maybe like a long sleeve or something. I'm also going to keep this one because it's also for Disneyland. I think I'm gonna toss this one. I don't ever wear it so we're gonna get rid of it. I don't even know anything about football. This is just my oversized old navy t-shirt that I keep. I wear that like every other day. I'm gonna keep this one. It's also for Disney. This one has gotten its use out of it at this point. It's old. It's linty. I'm gonna toss it. This is another one of that old navy white one because I get everything in twos. Then I also have it in tan. Although this one I have already stained on accident. So that does suck, but I still wear it all the time. I don't even care. This one I'm gonna try it on again because I don't know how convinced I am about keeping it. This is just a long thermal men's shirt. I'm gonna keep this, it's comfortable. I wanted to keep this one as well, but it's totally stained from work. I'm just gonna toss this one. I have another t-shirt that I could use for Disney, which actually I'm proud of the fact that this fits me the way that it does because when I bought it, it was actually pretty tight. So it's kind of a win for me. Try your clothes on you guys. Like honestly, you'll be surprised at what currently fits you that didn't fit you before or the things that you'll find in the back of your closet that you really didn't reach for. I recommend try even if you're not planning on getting rid of anything just try it on. You'll be surprised by all the things that feel like you just went shopping when you didn't really pay attention to what you had in there previously. I got this one for 4th of July. I don't know how I feel about it now but I'm gonna keep it because I just want to have something patriotic in here. And then this one I'm not getting rid of it. I got it in Hawaii last year so this is one of those memory t-shirts but I will probably put it in a drawer because I don't really wear it and I'll put it in my drawer that I keep all my memory shirts of like the places that I've traveled. So we're just gonna do that. I didn't think I would like this one and I like it all over again. So we're keeping it. I didn't think we'd gotten rid of that much, but this is the update so far. So I'm actually really proud of that. Most of this stuff in the section, I already know what I'm gonna do with. So we're just gonna go through each one and decide to keep it or not. Keep, 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 keep storage. I like this one but I haven't worn it in over a year and I feel like if I haven't worn it in over a year then I'm probably not gonna grab it in the next few months. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Beep, 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 beep. This is a beautiful silk Zara top, but it's a size small, and when I was at my smallest, I did fit into it, but now the struggle is putting it past my arm right here. It's a little bit tight, so yeah, we're giving this to my mom. I let her borrow it. I actually even let her borrow my black one, which I never got back, but for now, let's just throw in the cream one and she can keep both. I'm keeping this black turtleneck. I have it in white and I would wear both of them. This is from Hawaii last year. I don't wear it though, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in my little memory t-shirt drawer because I don't wanna get rid of it. I like it, but it's one of those that I like too much that I don't wanna ruin it, so we're gonna put it away. That might not make sense to everyone, but I personally like to do that. I know my sister likes to do that. I want to get something that kind of reminds me of the places that I went to, but I don't necessarily want to ruin them, so that's what we're gonna do. I also have this long sleeve Keens Canyon one. It's a location shirt. So I might just end up putting that into storage. I got this for Christmas or my birthday. I don't remember um, I got this from one of my sisters and Obviously, it's for Disneyland and they gave me the grumpy one because I am kind of a grouch So we're keeping this and this is gonna be one of my Disney shirts I bought this and I thought it was really cute at the time that I bought it and now I don't really care for it So we're gonna get rid of it moving on to a 
pile of jackets that I have. I'm keeping this one because I actually ended up getting it from one of our friends. It was his dad's. And this is one of the best windbreaker fleece line jackets that I wear. Last winter, I wore it all the time, probably every other day. And so I'm gonna start wearing it again. I'm keeping this one. I got it at Pearl Harbor. Definitely not getting rid of it. I actually ended up finding this Columbia windbreaker. I don't even know where. I think it was somewhere on vacation. It was kind of just tossed. The thing about it is I accidentally stained it, if you can see all of that. Last year when we went to Keens Canyon, I was cooking and the oil kind of splashed all over me. I had to wear this because it was like pouring rain, but because of that, it kind of splashed oil everywhere. So I haven't really worn it since and I think I'm just gonna toss it. I got this jacket at Costco last year and I haven't really had a chance to wear it this year, but I am definitely not getting rid of it. I thrifted this jacket earlier in the year for my mom's 50th birthday party because it was a rodeo theme and it fits me so much better than it did earlier this year. And I do go to a lot of rodeos, so I'm for sure keeping this jacket. This was one of my favorite little cropped jackets when I was at my smallest. It's a size medium, okay? And I still love it. Like, I really love this jacket, but you see that? I can't move. <sighs> I'm willing to put this into storage to fit into it later. It's just a little tie down the arms. The rest of it is fine. So I'm just gonna keep it because I don't see myself parting ways with this one. Guys, how cute is this shirt? My boyfriend got this for me earlier this year. It was kind of before we were blocked off for the summer and I'm so excited. I'm gonna be able to wear it this month because we are planning on going to Disneyland sometime in the middle. But it's just this cute little corduroy forest green, little Christmas themed Mickey. And oh my gosh, it actually fits so much better than what I originally tried it on. So that to me is motivating because when this clothes didn't fit before and all of a sudden, it's fitting real nice. That's motivation in itself to just do better. Okay, this one is similar to the other one, but my grandparents got me this like four, five years ago. Um, I can't even put my arms down because it's so tight. It wasn't tight when they gave it to me. It zipped up perfectly, and now that's as far as we're getting it. So I'm gonna see if my mom can try this on. I forgot I had this, but it's actually my boyfriend's, and it's a fleece-lined soft shell Columbia jacket. This actually used to be his favorite, and then he let me have it because I always grabbed it because it was so warm. And I'm gonna put this back in rotation. Keep, donate, donate, keep. Both of these are storage. All of my shorts overalls are going into storage. Forgot I had this, so we're keeping it. Keep, 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 definitely keep. Storage keep toss storage honestly guys i don't know why i put this off for so long some of these decisions are just really easy to make some of these it was a very quick toss decision so i don't know why i didn't do this before but we're getting to it now i want to start off the new year fresh with no clutter just trying to just restart and this is going to be the first thing that's going to go is like what's necessary to keep what's not what i love what i haven't even touched and we'll just see this is going into storage and the ones that i'm putting in storage right now too are a lot of the summer stuff so there's just no point in wearing it right now I feel like this is a little bit of an awkward fit. It doesn't give me any kind of shape and I mean it fits better than when I originally bought it. It's just not doing anything for me so I'm gonna toss it. Keep, toss. I was actually going to keep this and then I'm not even gonna scoot back for you guys because I'm pretty sure it shrunk a whole different size and length. So we're tossing this one. This fits me tight now. This was one of my favorite dresses when I was at my smallest but I'm not at my smallest anymore. I can either decide to put this into storage or to just give it away and I really liked it when it fit me the way that it was supposed to fit me. I'm gonna put it into storage. If I end up losing a little bit of weight and I retry it on and it's still not what I'm looking for then I'll toss it. I'm tossing this one. I've held on to it way too long and I'm just gonna get rid of it. I wore this once. It was okay. Nothing crazy. I don't think it's my color so I'm tossing it. I'm keeping both of these. Keep, toss, storage, keep, storage. I'm gonna toss these only because when this part ended up ripping it's just way too big and it just ends up looking really messy instead of cute like the way that it's supposed to look when it's ripped so I'm just gonna get rid of these. Toss, toss. Actually this is a maybe. Keep. I found these two silk skirts that I bought at Old Navy. They both have the tag on them. <sighs> This is pushing me to wear things that I normally would not wear but are in my closet so I am making it work. I'm gonna figure out how to wear both of these skirts and I feel like now that we're going into the holiday season it's kind of the perfect time to wear these silky skirts because I feel like it just elevates your wardrobe. So we're gonna make these work somehow. We're gonna style them and just hope that I can at least make it worth it. If not, we're gonna have to get rid of these. You guys, what the heck? This is where we're at right now. So that is my pile that I'm putting into storage. Overall shorts, sheer dresses, summer dresses, 
things like that. So this is all going into storage so far. This is the toss pile. Um, that is for my mom. This is toss and this is also storage. So I need to put that with the other stuff, but I feel like we're getting somewhere. So I'm very happy about that. I feel like I can finally breathe in my closet. I can see the things that I have and I can start to reach for more things. I also already started to rotate the things that if I wear it too often, then I'm putting it towards the back and what I don't want to get rid of, but I don't wear it as often, then I'm moving them to the front. So for instance, I have yet to wear this Zara shirt and I really want to, I want to figure out how to style it, but it's also always in the back of my closet. So I never reach for it. So I'm going to make sure to put it in the front so that when I'm looking for something, this is going to be what I gravitate to and I can figure out how to style it. Okay. So I've cleared out this whole chunk of my closet. And since we're going into the winter season, I'm going to go for what I can reach to that's going to be warm, cozy, and something that I'm actually going to wear this season versus all my summer stuff on display being the first thing I see and none of it being what I'm going to actually wear. Right now, all of my winter stuff <laughs> is behind my door. So I have it all kind of sectioned into this little corner right here. And also this is all the winter stuff that I have, which is why I do need to go shopping for winter clothes. But because I'm actively trying to lose weight and I'm on a budget right now, I'm not trying to spend everything in my bank account to buy a cute sweater. So I do want to make sure to go thrifting so that I can fill up my winter wardrobe with things that I like, but isn't going to break the bank. So I'm going to move all of my winter stuff to be like front view of what I can actually see. And I'm also going to try some things on to see if I really want to keep it or not. So we're going to go through that this time. So next is sweaters and cardigans. This cardigan used to have shoulder pads on it and I did not like the way that it looked and I took them out. And you guys, this cardigan is so cute. I can actually see myself wearing this now. It has pockets in the front and it's actually vintage and I'm actually so in love with it. So I'm for sure going to be wearing this. You guys, tell me why I was on the hunt for one of these coats. I've been looking for one and I literally had one in my closet. That's called a shopping addiction. So I've already organized all of my crewnecks and hoodies. This is what I use the most. I haven't really been using crewnecks or hoodies as often as I normally do, but these are for sure the ones that I kind of go to. I've gotten rid of a few that I just don't wear anymore. So that's kind of already out of the closet. This used to fill up the entire section and it was actually a really tight squeeze. I had to move some things around. So now I've actually significantly brought this down, which I'm really proud of. Next is my little workout section. And a lot of these things I'm not really crazy about. I just keep them because for the most part, I just go for runs. But honestly, I'm not really crazy crazy about a lot of this stuff. So I feel like I can actually really condense this section. These aren't even workout shirts, but I keep them here just because they used to be some of my favorite and now they're not, they're not even my size. So I'm going to get rid of both of these t-shirts and I'm realizing I probably should have done like a before recording of what my closet looked like and I totally forgot, but you guys see my closet all the time in my videos. So I'm pretty sure you know what it looked like before. I have this, I don't really wear it, but I still would like it here for comfort. It's like an oversized fit, but cropped at the same time. And I feel like this would be good for the days where I feel a little bit bloated for the gym. It's not a workout shirt at all, but I do like to use it for that. So we're just going to keep this. This also doesn't fit me. <laughs> I don't know why I still have it. I'm getting rid of that. I have a lot of white tanks, so let's just go through them. I do like this one. I'm keeping it. This one's actually pretty good, and so is this one. The last time I tried this one on, it was really tight, and I actually got it at the thrift store, so it looks pretty old. I'm going to see if any one of my sisters wants it. I don't know how I feel about this one, so I'm just going to put it to the side. This shirt is super old. I've had it for, gosh, I don't even know how many years at this point, and I even got it at a thrift store so it's lasted me that long plus however long it already was in somebody else's closet so I'm just gonna get rid of it. This isn't my color. I really don't care for the pattern. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of it. I've probably worn that like twice in the last six years that I've had it. This is very flattering on so I'm gonna keep that. I like this one as well. I'm okay with keeping both of these from Old Navy. Don't wear this. My sister got this for me as a present. I haven't had the chance to wear it because it's a little bit small. So I'm probably going, it's actually a large though. It was small when I first tried it on, which was like a year and a half ago. So we're just gonna try it on later and see how I feel about it. Don't really care for this one. Toss. This is one section for sure where I just feel like I haven't liked at all what I have in here. And when I feel like I don't look my best for a workout, I feel like I don't do my best in that workout, if you know what I mean. And that could be totally vain, but it's just like wearing makeup to the gym. Being presentable automatically motivates you and pushes you to do better. And when I don't feel like I look presentable enough in the things that I'm wearing, then I'm not going to care for it. Like, it's just not going to be the same. And I've shown you guys, like, some of the stuff I have thrifted, so it's not like I have to buy a whole new Lululemon wardrobe. That's not even 
describing what I'm saying, but I want to be able to like what I actually have and what I'm actually wearing for the gym to just give me a little more of a boost of confidence. So that's why we're clearing out this section because yeah, I could wear the same dingy clothes that I've been wearing every day for the last six years, but some of this stuff just isn't cutting it anymore. So we're just going to clean it out. This is the same as my white one. So I'm keeping this one. This one's actually super comfortable and this would be more for like an, a low impact kind of day. This one looks similar to the one that my sister gave me, but it's old navy and it's super good compression. So I'm going to keep this one. It's also really good condition. This is more of a pajama shirt and obviously it has deodorant stains as well. So I'm putting this in my pajama section. My sister gave me this one and I did like it. I wore it recently though and I just feel like this just isn't my style anymore. So I'm going to toss this one. This has always been one of my favorites. So I'm keeping this one. I have two of these look almost identical. This one I ended up cutting up and I just don't care for it anymore. So I'm going to get rid of that one but i do like this one so i'm keeping this one purple's not my color toss got this on major sale love it i'm keeping it i think i got this one at the thrift store and it's old navy and it's actually really comfortable so i'm keeping this one keeping both of these tossing this one is just way too big i might actually just keep it as a pajama because it is comfortable i just don't feel like i look my best when i wear it so i don't care as a pajama but obviously for a workout i want to look better keeping these two keeping these as well i don't like this shirt and i don't care for it but i keep it because i needed it for golfing when i went with my brother-in-law my sister my boyfriend and i actually needed it like a few years back. I got this three years ago and I've worn it twice, but <laughs> my boyfriend and my brother-in-law want to start going golfing more. So I'm just going to keep it as that. This is just going to be my designated golf shirt because I don't need a wardrobe for it. But every once in a while when we decide to go, I'll take this with me. I have this one and I do like it, but I feel like it just rides up so much also because it's a size medium and I'm not size medium in this right now. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put this in storage. This is actually a little rash guard and I thought I would keep it in my workout section because I thought it would actually be really cute more for a low impact day. I don't know. I really like it as like a nice cover up even for running. So I haven't had a chance to wear it yet because it just hasn't been cold enough, but I think I'm going to just keep this in rotation. I have this and I've had this for a couple of years now. I obviously have not worn it, but I also haven't tried it on in a really long time. So I'm going to try it on, see how I feel about it, and then we'll make our decision. I've had this for a couple of years now and honestly, I love it. It's starting to look a little bit old because it is a quarter zip fleece and it's kind of starting to show a little bit, but personally, it's very comfortable. I like wearing this to the gym for when I get out of my car on a cold day. It's just like a really easy cover up. So I'm going to keep this still. Okay. So I have my little storage pile here that I'm going to put away and I'm going to put it in this big old bag that I actually got off of Timu. I'm going to put everything here. And honestly, guys, I don't even know if I should continue this video because it's going to be super long. I haven't even gone through all of my pajamas, sweats, jeans, shorts, pants, none of that. I still have my dressers to go through and I will do that tonight. So I'm contemplating if I'm even going to add that to this because I just have so much stuff. Like, I don't know how I let myself get so much clothes that I don't even wear. Like, why do I have so much stuff? I don't know. I, oh my gosh. I'm going to show you guys just how empty I've made this closet. Like, I cleared out almost an entire section. So, I am proud of that. And I think what I'm going to do is with that section that's clear, I'm going to put up my most worn jeans or some things that I would like to wear more often that I haven't. That way I can kind of see them. But yeah, I have so much. I may or may not add that and if I do it's probably going to be like super quick like keep get rid of whatever there's not going to be any trying on I will try them on I just probably won't do it on camera but there's just so much stuff I cannot let my closet get this carried away anymore I cannot be spending money that is just not necessary so after I do this whole clean out I'm just going to do my little thrift shopping for winter stuff because I just don't have enough sweaters I did realize that I have a few cardigans but I actually need sweaters you guys saw I probably have like five and so after that I'm not spending any more money on any kind of clothes. I literally don't need it. Let me go ahead and put all this away and then I'm gonna move on to my drawers. Okay, so this bag actually fits a ton and it was only like $3 on Timu. So I actually think I'm gonna get more. Right here, I just have my storage stuff, things that I'm not really wearing right now. Either they don't fit, but I want it to fit one day or it's summer clothes or just random little things that I just don't gravitate to as much, but I do want to keep it. So I'm gonna pull this out again in a few months, see how I feel about what's in it and then make my decision as far as like if I wanna keep wearing it or not. So I'm gonna fill this up still because I have to go through all my pants and things like that. So before I hang up all of my pants, I just wanna show you guys really quickly 
exactly how my closet looks. I'm so excited. I feel like I've gotten rid of so much and a lot of the things that I've been wanting to get rid of but I just haven't pulled the trigger on it so I'm glad I'm finally doing that and I have so much space now. The amount of hangers that I have is honestly crazy. Okay so here are all of my crew necks and hoodies, things that are more casual everyday wear and then I just have a few of my fleece jackets here as well. I have this whole chunk of hangers here. I don't even wear robes but my mom gave me this and so I feel like once it starts to get a little bit colder I'll wear it around the house but we're not there yet. So I have this whole chunk of hangers which isn't even a quarter of what I have okay just keep that in mind. I have my skirts here. I do actually wear this denim one but I do have my skirts here just so that it's a little bit of an easier reach and then I have my dresses back here and this is where I've always kept my dresses so I don't really need those in full view. What I want right now is all of my winter stuff that I can see. So I have all of my coats and jackets here. These are more like my warmer ones. Then I have my rain or like windbreaker ones. So I have those sectioned here. And then I have my cardigans here and my actual sweaters. Next, I have these right here. I don't really wear them just because it's such a hassle having to go to the bathroom, but they're just the like little onesie kind of things. I have it in black, blue, and then I have a long one as well. I'm gonna try to get some use out of those. I have my tank tops right here. They used to be more in the center, but because I'm more focused on the cold stuff, that's still kind of in a good view. I'm not worried about it, but I put my tank tops first because that's what I wear the most especially for like a sweater like this and I want a higher neck I'll most likely gravitate to a high neck tank top or one of these I put these still in a good reach kind of area and then I have a few different sleeveless tops this whole section is thrifted then moving on to just regular tops that are short sleeve um, and then we're going into a few long sleeve tops then I have all of my button downs here but because I use these so often I wanted to put them more to the side to kind of force myself to wear the things that I don't wear as often so we have that here and then since i wear these oversized t-shirts every single day i wanted to make sure to put these in the back so that i can kind of get out of my comfort zone here is my little workout section and that's literally as far as it goes because up here i have a few sports bras and mostly leggings then here i have the rest of my sports bras and here i have all of my biker shorts so there's no need to hang any of that up we're just going to keep that there and then this whole section has been freed up you guys look at all these hangers I have all of these hangers plus this little tiny chunk right here plus all of these and on top of all of these I still have these that just tells you how much clothes I actually had every single one of these hangers was previously taken up there was no space there was no room for anything new anything extra like every single hanger was in use that's how much clothes I had okay I have this bag that's starting to get filled up this entire pile I'm getting rid of whether it's donate sell toss just whatever I'm getting rid of all of this clothes and I haven't even gone through my pants yet. So I have this entire dresser filled with jeans that fit me, that don't fit me, that are brand new with tags and ugh, it just hurts to get rid of some of the stuff but I just have to do it. I have to go through it and I also have a lot of like workout stuff in here as well so I'm gonna see what I can get rid of or not and then I have some sweats. This I am gonna try on but I don't think I'm gonna show everything just because I feel like this video is gonna be so long but I am gonna try on a few pieces so we'll see. Keep in mind also that every single one of these drawers is already filled to capacity. Capacity, so whatever I end up clearing is gonna be huge progress, but right now there's no space for anything else in here I'm keeping both of these cargo shorts keeping both of these men's jeans. I have three pairs of black jeans I'm keeping two and I'm tossing one I keep telling myself I'm gonna get rid of these because I'm not crazy about them and somehow I end up wearing them again But I never like how I look in them. I just wear them because it's easy So I'm just gonna get rid of them already I've had these for several years and I used to like them, but I don't like the bottom anymore It's like frayed and it's just not my style. So we're gonna get rid of them This is all that 
I got rid of from my closet and my drawers and that's not even including that whole bag that I had already set aside to donate and this is what my drawers are looking like these are the jeans that I wear all of the time so they're just in the first top drawer that I just grab really quickly these are a few of the pairs some that I don't wear as often but they are currently my size so I also wanted to keep them as an option as a top drawer and then here I just have shorts which I could also put with my pajamas because that's all that I have for my pajamas so I'll probably end up putting that next to it so that I can free up one more drawer right here I just have some workout stuff in these little compartments I just have like body spray tanning lotion regular lotion all of that and then here are my shorts that are just like basic um, workout shorts and these I wear all of them I've actually gone through them recently obviously not these because I have tag on them <laughs> these actually don't even fit me right now I'm gonna put those in storage but overall I do wear everything else so I'm just gonna keep that in here and I don't really need to touch anything in here these are all of my jeans that don't currently fit me but are literally like one size away from where I'm at right now so I'm not putting them in storage or tossing them the reason why I'm not getting rid of anything that's in there is just because I am actually losing weight I'm seeing the results it's not happening as fast but it is happening and a lot of the jeans that I actually have in my top drawer right now that I'm using on a daily basis didn't fit me a few months ago so I do have high hopes that these are jeans that I will be wearing very soon there's just no need to get rid of them yet and it's not like an unrealistic goal I'm not trying to go from a 14 to an 8 in a month. These are literally like a size 10, 12. So I know that I'll be in these pretty soon. I'm not worried about it. They're just going to be at the bottom right now because I'm obviously not wearing them. And then in my closet that I hung up, I wanted to put things that are more than just denim. So just different style pants that I can kind of mix up what I'm wearing. So I wanted options that I can actually see here that I don't wear as often other than my denim jeans that I always wear. So I wanted to make sure that I have these in plain view. And then I just ended up moving my workout close to the section right here. So that is the end of my closet clean out and I'm so proud. That's as high as I put my storage pile. So I actually didn't even hold on to as much as I thought I would, which is another thing I'm proud of because I thought I was going to end up having to fill this up because I couldn't make up my mind, but I ended up getting rid of more things than I ended up putting in storage. So I'm really excited about that. What I'm going to do now is just pick some things out of that pile that I know my sisters and my mom might like, and I'm going to take pictures of everything and I'm just going to spam the GM and see who wants what. I'll set it aside. And then tomorrow when I see them i'm just gonna separate it into bags and give it all to them but that is all for today's video you guys thank you so much if you stuck around all the way to the end i know this probably was a really long video and it actually took me like almost three hours to go through this whole thing so i'm really gonna do my best to kind of condense this video as much as i can but i'm so happy that i was able to clear out so much and now i'm gonna go to the thrift store and i'm gonna get some things that i can actually wear for winter that aren't like 50 dollars each and i'm really focused on getting like sweaters and stuff like that so i I really hope I do find something because that is the number one thing that I need. I have tons of tank tops. I have tons of t-shirts. I'm not worried about that. I'm specifically looking for winter wear. Come along with me for the next video. I'm so excited for Vlogmas. If you guys have any ideas or recommendations of what you want to see for December, put them in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to try it out. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.